and I love it so much. This honestly, this product with combination of changing my skincare routine and really being dedicated to wearing SPF has made me finally feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup on. I am going to show you my morning skincare routine and then I will, I guess, kind of talk you through the changes that I do at nighttime. A couple years back, I decided I really wanted to invest in skincare products. I felt just, I guess, insecure about how my skin was looking. I never wanted to leave the house without makeup on and I decided that I didn't want to feel like that anymore and I really wanted to stick to a skincare regimen that worked. At the time, I had came across Barefaced and Jordan Harper, APRN, on Instagram and kept seeing the befores and afters that she posted and decided, what do I have to lose? Let me do her little basic skincare consult on the website and go from there. So I did that. It gave me a list of products that they recommended, Barefaced as well as Revision Skincare. And I started using those, I wanna say for a few months, maybe like three months, and started to really see a lot of changes in my skin. At that point, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pay for an actual skincare consult with, her, with Jordan just to make sure that I'm using what I should be using. So she's an esthetician, she's an APRN, she knows her stuff. I said, Again, what do I have to lose? So I hired her for a skincare consult. You send photos of different angles of your face, answer a huge questionnaire that she sends you, and then she sends you back a custom skincare regimen. It was pretty much in line with what I was already using, but she kind of told me different ways to use certain products or different times of the day to use them. And I started using that instead. She also, I really love one particular moisturizer and she incorporated that into my skincare routine as well. So I have been using this skincare routine for a couple of years now, but this is a photo of my skin when I started. This is actually when the one of the photos that I sent her in that questionnaire and then this is the after. This I think was about six months of a difference. It was a total change, an incredible change for my skin. I have used so many different products over the years. I have never ever seen my skin look this good. So I'm gonna walk you through, I, have, I don't have anything on my skin right now. I'm gonna walk you through my morning skincare because it's, well, it's late morning, early afternoon. And I'm gonna tell you what I do on a daily basis. So let's go. So I washed my face this morning with Revision Skin Care's Papaya Enzyme Cleanser. That was a recommendation in my routine from Jordan. So I did that. At night, I remove my makeup with Elemis Cleansing Balm, which is a game changer. And then also I do a second wash with the same Revision Skin Care Cleanser. After that, I use the Bare Face Toning Pads. This is Toning Pads 1. There's also a second version. They look like this. And this product alone was amazing for my skin. Uh, your skin will definitely experience some purging. She told me I would experience that. That is normal, but it's really been incredible. Honestly, my I used to get really bad hormonal breakouts around the time of my period and it's like barely. So I do have, it is the week before, so I have like some starting over here, which also is probably because I need to clean my makeup brushes, but again, skin's looking pretty good there. So this eye cream is definitely pricey. It's the Revision Skincare DEJ Eye Cream. I have very dark circles uh, under my eyes. It's the way they're set and also the skin is really thin under there. This eye cream has done wonders. I don't use the applicator. I just lightly apply with my ring finger. I bring it up as well. It's really helped. Um, like you can put it all around your eye. It's like a total eye area cream and it's really done wonders to the skin above my eye as well as underneath. Vitamin C serum. So I actually cannot tolerate my skin after I had my third child. My skin cannot tolerate any vitamin C products that have ascorbic acid in it. And so I had discussed that with Jordan and she recommended this one from Revision Skincare. It's the C Plus Correct Correcting Complex 30%. There's no ascorbic acid in this one and it's done wonders. I would, my skin would get like these really weird 
bumps on them from several other vitamin C products, including the barefaced. I tried barefaced uh, vitamin C, but it, it, my skin just doesn't like it. So this one is much more tolerable. After applying my vitamin C serum, I use the barefaced brightening serum. This stuff is great. My skin can tolerate this. And it's really helped with dark spots. After my brightening serum, I use barefaced Overachiever. This is like an all-in-one skin boosting serum. It does so much. It helps with any redness or puffiness. It helps stimulate collagen production. It helps improve the appearance of your pores and firms up your skin a bit. It also um, promotes cellular turnover. So it's really like an all-in-one product. And I noticed this was one of the newer products of her line and I actually did notice pretty big changes when I added this into my routine last year. I'm gonna apply this and then let it absorb a little bit. I notice that if I don't, if I rush through my skincare routine, um, I can get like some pilling from the product. So I like to let this absorb. I'm usually doing my skincare routine as I'm like getting ready or doing my hair so that each product has time to absorb and I'm like multitasking to get it all done. Now, the next step, I will use a hyaluronic acid type of hydration serum. Usually I use Revision Skincare, but I ran out of that one. PCA Skin is also another one. It's very similar to the Revision Skincare, but I ran out of both of those and happened to have this one by Peach and Lily. Um, it's their Glass Skin Refining Serum. I prefer the Revision one over this one, but I figured I'd have it. Let me try it, go through it, um, but I would prefer the revision. I just don't have it right now, so. <laughs> Next up, I use my moisturizer. I love the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I have used this stuff for years. It is awesome. So that was the one product that I said to Jordan, I is just a non-negotiable for me. I want to continue to use this in my routine. Non-negotiable, Jordan, was cool with it. I mean, obviously, um, it's just literally the best moisturizer ever. So, all right, I'm going to let that absorb and then I'm going to move on to my sunscreen. So before chatting with Jordan and like dedicating to a skincare regimen with the goal of it truly improving the look and texture of my skin. I was talking to a friend who um, always has said to me, you really, really, really need to wear SPF on your face. And I would every now and then, or I'd have like uh, SPF in a product, but really that's not good enough. And my friend, my friend is also an esthetician and she said something to me that stuck with me since that day. She said to me, if you're not putting on an SPF, as the very last step of your skincare routine, you might as well take all of the products that you just applied to your skin and throw them in the trash because the SPF is what truly protects your skin from all of the damage that you're trying to correct with all of those products. So if you're not going to use it, you might as well just throw everything out. And I'm like, okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. So from that day on, I said, all right, I'm gonna put, apply SPF a separate SPF, not an SPF in my moisturizer, not an SPF, but mix in with my makeup, a separate SPF as the very last step of my skincare routine every single morning. And I truly feel that it has helped. Now, I just had this conversation with a friend as well. And she goes, oh, on cloudy days, I don't apply it. And I was like, okay, but that's actually like when you should apply it. So rain or shine, <laughs> no matter what, I apply an SPF to my face. And the one that I love is by Bareface. It's their tinted protection SPF. It is an SPF 50 sunscreen. And I love that it has a tint to it. Another great one. I actually had someone uh, ask me to try it, but it's SPF 45 instead of 50 is the revision skincare IntelliShade. This is an anti-aging tinted moisturizer with sunscreen. It's really good as well, but I, the bare face one is my, is my favorite. So I apply this every day. Uh, there is one that's not tinted if you're someone who prefers that, but I love this. I feel between this and then the 
next eye product I apply. And I'll be honest with you, I'm sure I don't apply enough. I actually watched a video from Jordan saying how much you are supposed to apply. And I was like, wow, that's a lot. That sounds great. So I'm sure I'm not nearly applying the amount I should be. I think it was literally like a whole hand. Um, but I'm running low and I'm afraid I'm gonna run out. So anyway, uh, the tint literally just, I feel like it evens out your skin tone even more, adds that little bit of color. I really love it and it wears really well. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel like traditional uh, sunscreen, so your makeup's not applying weird over it, and I just really love it. So I will apply that, and then I think this might be my favorite product I've ever used. My former esthetician who used to do my hydrofacials before she moved had recommended this to me because obviously I have very dark under eye circles, and I had actually talked to her about filler under eyes. She it was older than me and we had this long discussion about it and she was like, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. If you really wanna do it, wait until you're a lot older. And she's like, I've seen it go wrong so many times. And this is not, I'm just telling you what she said to me. I'm sure there's some of you watching this who've had it and you've had great experiences with it. But she told me, don't do it yet. She says, I understand it's an area of concern for you, but once you start doing it, you're gonna to have to continue doing it and I've just seen it go really wrong. She recommended this product. This is by, I'm probably saying it wrong, Color Science Total Eye Three-in-One Renewal Therapy. It is an SPF total eye treatment that's tinted. I don't use the applicator just because it can be a little thick, so I like to apply it with my finger, but you can see it's tinted. It's an SPF and I dab this in under my eye and it adds such a nice coverage, extra coverage. And I love it so much. This, honestly, this product and with combination of changing my skincare routine and really being dedicated to wearing SPF has made me finally feel comfortable leaving the house without makeup on. Um, I swear by this product. You only need a little bit. A little goes a long way. It's truly a game changer if you're someone like me who has really dark circles. So that is my complete morning skincare routine. And again, I feel pretty good without having makeup on. I feel like just looks like I've got a little tint on. Again, this kind of works as a corrector. I will walk you through my nighttime routine. I'm not going to obviously apply it. There are some differences, but the other thing I do want to call out that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, um, the only thing I do want to say is, because I obviously don't have wrinkles if you're looking at this video, the only injectable or anything that I do is Botox in my forehead, but these skincare products are not going to help with, like that wrinkles were not my goal. I, my goal was evenness, fixing any redness, any dark spots, wrinkles were not something that I wanted a product for. I just went to Botox instead. So I just felt like I needed to be transparent there. I do have Botox in my forehead and between here. Okay, so nighttime routine is pretty much the same with a couple of additions. So I will add in a retinol, or a retinoid, I should say. This is Bare Face, I'm clearly running low. This is their Retinol Skin Therapy by Bare Faced. I love this, it's a retinoid. Um, I don't have any reaction, like negative reaction using this, so I will use this nightly except for three times a week when I, instead of using the toning pads, I use the glow peel pads. These are incredible. They really, really help. It actually says right on here, if you use at night, skip retinoid. So yes, um, these really help with texture, evening skin tone. I swear it's like a mini overnight facial for your skin. So I do this three times a week and on those nights I'm not using the retinol. Um, and then of course I don't use SPF at night as well, but everything else pretty much stays 
the same. So that completes my skincare routine. I do have a coupon code for you below, which I'm super excited about. Everything is linked in, in the description as well as that code to Bareface. And I'm pretty positive you can use that site wide and everything with the exception of the Elemis moisturizer can be found on bareface.com. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.